Hey, what's up? This is Travis Barker, and you're watching the AU Review. So great to see you at South by. How's the experience been for you this year? Good, you know? I haven't been here for, I don't know, like four or five years. I came here last with A-Track. Yeah. We played a show here. Um, I got in last night, kind of went straight to this house that a, bu a buddy of mine's renting, and um, we practiced in a garage. Yeah. And a bunch of the neighborhood came out and watched us practice, so cool. it was pretty cool. That was like my first kind of um, experience of South By, and then, you know, just today, just getting ready for our showcase. Yeah, I mean, you've got the scoot in tonight. Um, yeah. Alongside some awesome artists, I mean, you've got, I mean, the likes of Yellow Wolf and Hops in particular. Um, it's going to be one I'm sure people are going to be turning out for. I mean, how has the preparation for these South by shows been treating you? I mean, for us, our South by showcase is basically like all of our friends in one place, yeah. kind of celebrating the 15th year of uh, Fame of the Stars and Straps. But you know, everyone from Paul Wong, Slim Thug. Um, who are from Texas and have been like friends of, of yeah. famous and part of the family forever. Um, to Hobson, Ritz, everyone's sort of homes, you yeah. know, from way back when. So it's cool. Like, no better way to bring it in, you know, our 15 year with with family. Yeah, for sure. I mean, 15 years. It's a it's a massive thing to be marking up anything. But I suppose for you and the clothing line, what's a, you know, have you had time to reflect on how far you've come since it all kicked off? You know, you spend every moment of of these last 15 years, like either designing a season or yeah. getting a sample in or approved. You never really get a chance to to sit back and go, "Wow, like this is awesome," or, yeah. or actually be able to celebrate. You know, we did it on our 10 year, and that was amazing. We did a decade party with us and Snoop. It was like Snoop's 10th album and our 10th year, so we had a huge party in Los yeah. Angeles. It was crazy. So this 15 years is like. It's, it's it's awesome. It's, yeah. You know, never ever did I think 15 years ago we'd be celebrating 15 years later. That, yeah. Uh, my clothing brand has been, you know, become bigger and bigger and just better. You know, it's. Yeah. I, I look forward to every year because we just get better at what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it's. I think years nowadays they're just hurtling by so much faster. You know, it's yeah. it's good, especially with something like a clothing line. You've got visual markers of you know what you were doing 10 years ago and what you're doing now you know you've yeah. got things you can actually that are tangible and you can actually document and look at yeah catalogs yeah exactly like line sheets it's crazy totally it's, man yeah it's been a it's been a wild ride you know it's like from you know me being just some punk kid with like a vision never i didn't have like this background in fashion i didn't i wasn't an attorney i didn't have like a business degree it's yeah. like it was passion it was pure passion from day one and determination and willing to put you know everything on the line for something I loved and I really had a vision for yeah for sure I mean talking about being you know a punk kid and growing up in the music scene that you did looking at your career now I mean you're on you're on collaborations with some of the best not only established punk rock musicians but you know electro and hip-hop and rap um, musicians as well what's it been like for you to not only blend genres but to also you know flip between so many different you know genres of music that are so recognizable to so many people for me it's it's been you know it would be I would feel like it would feel bad if I couldn't because yeah. I like all those styles of music yeah. so for me it was like you know I grew up playing punk rock, listening to punk rock, listening to hip hop, playing along with hip hop records. Yeah. So for me, it was that—that that was my true dream come true. That was like if I had to measure my success or, or, or what you know, initially like satisfied me as a musician was being able to play with so many different musicians and so many different styles of music. Yeah. Because I I grew up loving everything and sometimes you know I, I don't know it, it would be weird to just play one genre yeah. or the yeah. genre that I guess I'm best known for you know yeah. um, so playing with like Steve Aoki or Rusko and then going and doing like the country music awards for like a Buck Owens trip yeah. and then the next week playing with T.I. on the BET awards that, yeah. that's like that's that's such a big accomplishment for me and totally and it just felt good to give back to the styles of music that I was brought up in definitely